Even under physiological conditions, a small tear can appear in the wall of a blood vessel. In order to prevent blood loss, platelets and coagulation factors such as the pivotal factor 10, acting in a coordinated manner, close this wound. The platelets are responsible for a first sealing of the tear. Then, a number of coagulation factors are activated leading to the formation of fibrin strands which stabilize the growing clot. These processes can also be triggered inappropriately and play a major role in the pathology of ACS, VTE and AF. Thromboembolic disorders can affect both types of blood vessels. Arterial or white clots are primarily triggered by the rupture of an atherosclerotic plaque. Arterial clots are platelet-rich. Venous or red clots, on the other hand, mainly consist of red blood cells and fibrin. Vascular injury, hypercoagulability of the blood and venous stasis play a crucial role in their development. It is important to note that the formation of both types of clots, arterial and venous, always involves platelets as well as coagulation factors.